Hi everybody and welcome back to the Nerd Shelves. My name's Michael and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today I am going to be changing this dining room table into a board gaming table. Some of you may or may not have seen one of my other videos where I showed you how to make a DIY tabletop gaming mat and I'm going to leave that link right up there if you want to go take a look at that. Now for this table I have no plans okay there are no plans on how to do this because all tables are built a little bit differently with subtle differences and I kind of had to look at this dining table and just go with it. So let's just go ahead and take the table off and see what we have to play with. Okay, so here we go. We've got the tabletop off of the table here and I actually couldn't be happier. This is almost a perfect situation. So it, what we have here is this is the bottom of the tabletop and it came off perfectly with, with no other attachments on it. It's perfectly just the flat tabletop by itself. There's no skirting, there's no trim, there's nothing on it, and that is absolutely perfect to remain as the tabletop, the topper that goes on top of the board gaming table. Now, the other great thing is, as you can see here, it already has all of these supports that are flush with the top of this trim. But now this is going to be my base for the board gaming table. So what I'm going to do is, my original thought was I was just going to skirt the whole outside of the table with maybe a 1x6 or something that was going to raise it up about this high. And then I was going to pop the board gaming tabletop on top here. And then this could then sit on top of that skirt so it was sunk. But the issue I had with that is that these legs unscrew from the inside and pull out this way. So if I ever want to remove the legs, I can't have any kind of trim surrounding the legs like this because then I will never get them off. So what I'm going to do instead is I am just going to add an extension starting from the leg to the leg up about three inches here so that there's going to be nothing here. And then I'm gonna fill that space with something later on. And then what's gonna happen is when my three quarter or half inch plywood, whatever I decide to use, sits in here, we're gonna have about a two inch rise like that. And then I'm gonna trim that out. And then this can sit on top of everything. I'm also gonna put a couple more supports in the middle here underneath. Just, just to give that plywood another bit of strength so it doesn't bend in the middle. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start measuring and cutting and see what we can come up with. Okay, so here I have the tabletop um, with the legs off and I put it on the floor in my garage. And basically what I've done here is I've taken these one by sixes and I've cut them so that they, they're gonna sit just on the side of the tabletop, just like that. And I'm gonna fasten them in. So you can see that here there's a, about a one and a half, well, two inch gap or a two inch um, rise there. I've cut them so that they there's a space there so that the legs can still fit inside. Once the plywood is cut to size and wrapped in the felt, I'm gonna set it inside, and then these trim are going to sit on top of the plywood just like this, okay? And it's gonna hide the gap. Of course, they're gonna be stained the same color as the table. Okay, so I've cut these one by threes and I've mitered them so that they're gonna meet in the corner. And basically how that's gonna work is, they're gonna just sit on top of the trim just like that to make a nice little armrest. And I'm gonna put them all the way across the top. This is going to be a little bit, um, a little bit sharp to put rest your arms on. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand those corners down 
And then, once that's done, I'm going to stain all the pieces of wood that I've cut. I'm gonna stain it to the same stain as the table, and then I'm gonna come back and put it all together. Okay, so now that we have the plywood cut to size, this is going to be the base of our, uh, the board gaming part of the table. So what we need to do is, this is the foam underlay. This is what's gonna go underneath the, the felt to give it a little bit of a cushion. So what we're gonna do first is, lay this on top, and I'm gonna line it up on the edges, and then I am going to trace a line, and trace another line. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut this out and then using this spray adhesive, I'm going to um, spray the top of the plywood and then glue that on top. It doesn't have to be perfect because once you wrap the felt around it, then it holds it in place. But this just kind of stops it from moving around, okay? Okay, so now that we've put the cushion onto the tabletop board, this is what's gonna go on top of that. And we just chose this nice red, very soft velvety material. It's almost like speed cloth. And basically what we're going to do is, we've measured it so it's about three inches on either side of the board. So we can put the board on top and we're going to wrap it around and just staple it to the bottom of the board. So I've already measured it out here and now we're just gonna go ahead and cut it. Okay, so now that everything's stained, I've put the board, just sat it inside there on top of the frame. And then what I've done is, what I need is, I need the inside trim and the outside trim to be perfectly flush because I'm gonna put a piece on top that's gonna cap it off, and they have to be perfectly level. So I first put the, uh, the inside trim on, on top of the mat for height. And then what I did was I took my one by sixes, like this, and I just found out where the top of that is, and I clamped it, just clamped it right to the frame there to hold it in place. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make sure that all of these are completely flush and level, and then I'll take the frame out like this, and then I'll go ahead and I'll just staple these right to the frame.
Okay, so now that I've got all that pinned into place, what we have to do now is we're gonna put this edge rail, and I've already sanded down the sides there so that you've got a nice little place to rest your arms, and all of these are just gonna go out like this on top, and I'm gonna pin those down, and then we have a nice armrest, just like that. And what I've done is I've created it, I've created a lip underneath so that hopefully I can put some lights or something on under that. So I'm gonna make sure that it's flush this way and the lip is on the inside. And that's the way I've measured and cut them. Okay, so here is the table all set up and I've got the legs back on. Now, as you can see here, there is a space here, but I needed that so that I could take the legs on and off when I was trying to move it. I didn't want to trap the legs in there. So what I've decided to do is first, this lip all the way around is where I'm going to run my lights. And they're actually going to come right out here on the inside and down through this leg. That's where I'm going to send the wires so that the wires are underneath. But after that, I need to cap this so that you can't see this gap. So what I've done is I've just bought this trim. It's a 3 16th of an inch thick, um, three inches wide. And what I'm going to do is cut it and I'm going to attach that trim actually to the leg. So when I take the leg off, it is capped on either side, but when I put the leg on, it closes off that gap. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna stain it the same color, and then I'm just gonna pin them on the legs right there with a little bit of glue, and hopefully that'll hide the gap nicely. Okay, so now I've got the wires through a hole that I drilled right here on the inside, this open piece there, and I've drilled a hole there and I stuck the wires through, and as you can see with this remote control, there we go. We have lights on the, on the board gaming table. Uh, these are pretty cool because you can do all sorts of different colors. And yeah, pretty neat. So now I've stained these pieces here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and staple them actually to the legs themselves, just like that. And then that way when I take the leg off, it's going to hide that gap. And there you go. This is my dining room table conversion into a board gaming table. Um, I just want to say that I am not a carpenter. I am not a woodworker by trade. Um, these are all just skills that I've just kind of picked up along the way. So the reason why I say that is, is it's not too difficult. Anyone with basic skills can do something like this. Um, is it perfect? Of course not, but it is great for my needs and that feeling of just being able to build it with your own hands is so satisfying and I couldn't be happier. So if you have any other suggestions or tables that you've built or dining room tables you've converted, why don't you leave comments below in the comment section? I would love to hear them and I really hope you enjoyed this video. So, go ahead and get another game off of your nerd shelves. Take care, everybody. Bye.